What's up, everybody? It's Easy. Got a new Clash of Clans video today on something that a lot of people are doing. I've never really covered it before because this is something that we have a, most of the players that I think do it are just as don't really need my help. But we're going to cover it today because I think we got some good aspects of, of this strategy. It's called the trophy push. And what if, if you don't know what a trophy push is, that, that's when the upper players are trying to make that run for the top. Uh, but it's also it's also used for for guys that kind of want to push the trophies ahead to get the most out of their out of the the star bonuses and and kind of you know compete as best they can with everyone in the game. So one of the key elements of trophy pushing is never to lose trophies. So we're going to use some strategies as I'm talking my way through the first one. We're going to use some strategies that are kind of these are kind of brainless strategies. The, the, you drop all these troops in at one time. And they kind of go off on their own and they take care of business for themselves. So it's a, it's a very simple way to start out every attack. Um, they're mass attacks. They're all mass attacks. This one right here was the, it was called the Bragaloon attack. And just the, the key to each one of these attacks is that you can drop all the troops pretty much at one time. And then as you progress further and further, you can tweak the attack a little bit to suit your needs a little more. But what's so great about it is that you can pretty much drop all these troops at the beginning of the attack and now all that you have to do is worry about a, a few spell placements and you and you've got one star these are not all three star attacks matter of fact i don't know if there's any three stars in this video um, i just grabbed a, a bunch of these attacks because they're they're very dominant as far as getting to the town hall getting that first star picking up most of the loot on the way and you know you're not gonna you're not gonna lose many trophies by using these attacks this next attack here this is actually uh, d done by my, my mini account. This is a Dragaloon attack. This is a very popular attack with Town Hall 7s and 8s. Uh, because it's an expensive attack, you don't see it a lot farming well, as, you, as you move up. But it is a very reliable attack to at least get to Town Hall and get, this, and get the star and move your trophies ahead. So that, that's why we wanted to show this attack. Now, it's kind of dragging around here, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, I, like the like the Bragaloon before this, we're going to be able to start off by putting in multiple dragons at one time, and then we'll put in the balloons right behind the dragons, and we'll just push them right through the town hall, and then you've got yourself a star, and everything after that is a bonus. And you notice we started off with an earthquake spell, I just dropped that right on top of town hall, because I cut down the town hall's uh, hit points. These earthquake spells, if you're using air attacks, uh, and you bring one earthquake spell that can you can just drop that on the biggest concentration of defenses or the biggest concentration of high hit point buildings other than the storages they don't touch storages and that will cu that will cut out like 25% of their hit points and make it a little easier to get through those things so again what i've noticed because i've now started tampering with with uh, pushing my trophies and there's a lot of techniques that people use and what I've noticed is that a lot of these attacks that they're using are very fragile attacks and a lot can go wrong in them. So I think people need to have a nice base of attacks uh, that are fail, uh, they're pretty much fail proof. Now they, they, you may not be able to get 100% with them. Uh, you may not be able to uh, get all the resources every single time. But as you'll see in, the, in this video here, these attacks, are, they're going to get you 50% and you don't have to really worry about it. I was kind of joking around last night when I was recording them. Um, these are great attacks for um, <laughs> when you're at work. I know no one plays at work. But when you're at work and the boss walks up on you and you're in the middle of an attack, you can put your phone in your pocket and then come back and you've got yourself 59% and most of the resources. <laughs> so now I know that a, a lot of advanced players, they appreciate the multi-phase attacks and they want to do a lot of challenging and complicated things. But st players starting out that still want to try to push ahead, you need to have a nice, simple type of attack that you can... Uh, uh, mass attacks are... Let me back up and explain this differently. Mass attacks are not for everyone. Uh, matter of fact, I hear a lot of people kind of talk bad about them because they just spam everything from one place. And they, they, they act as if it doesn't take any skill. Uh, and, okay, m um, there's, a, there's a point to that in a way, but there's also a purpose for them too. And the purpose is, is that you'll have a nice st steady attack that you're pretty much guaranteed to get at least that one star. Now this is a, this is a slap attack. This is a all, 
Um, pretty much brand new Town Hall 10. So it's the level 1 witch. And I think they're maxed as level 4 healers. But we got 9 witches and, and, and 6 healers on top of those 9 witches. And you start off in 2 corners. Uh, you, you'll put 2 or 3 witches in, in the 2 corners. And you'll put a couple of wizards with them, a couple of healers with them, and then you'll do the same thing in the core along with the heroes. And base and again, you're gonna put all the troops in at one time, and then just watch them go to work. And the only thing you're doing after that is using using your spells carefully. Now you notice I started off this attack with the earthquake spell, and that's the earthquake spell is a great spell for some of these ground attacks that you you, you really risk getting caught up on the walls because witches do not get through walls very easily. The skeletons will get distracted and go off pretty much anywhere and on top of that they're the skeletons are, are super super fragile so if they end up getting uh targeted by any kind of fast defense like a tesla or a crossbow it'll just ping them off before they can even really hit the wall so you want to get through those walls as soon as you can and have the skeletons working on defenses instead of working on the walls so i'd like to start off with the earthquake or with the jump spell on the outer walls whenever i'm doing any kind of slap attack and the slap attacks could be your, your the bitch slap, which is the bowler witch, or just the witch slap, which is the witches and the healers. So that ended up being a three star. And you know, this some of these bases aren't the best. But what I did was I had two accounts that I was on with last night, and I just did a bunch of attacks, recorded them after I did them. So this is in about 40 minute time, 45 minutes time. I recorded all of these. So I didn't. Um, a lot of times when I'm recording for a video, I will try to get nothing but three stars and, and really try to show the, the best of the attacks. Uh, but I didn't really do that last night. I just want to show you how how simple it is to drop all the troops in and let the troops do the thing and get the star and move on. Now this attack right here is something that our clan does. There's probably other names for it. We call it the flex attack. This right here is where you have a queen walk on one side, you have a bowler walk on the other side, and then you fill the middle up with, with giants and valkyries and the heroes. And I'm a Town Hall 11, so we had the warden in there, which the warden ability is, a, is huge for Town Hall 11. Uh, and again, uh, Town Hall 11 defenses, these, I'm, I know everyone that's Town Hall 11 has, has scratched their head when they got 29 or 30% with a great army, but the bases twisted them up. For, uh, this is a great attack to get that at least that 50% uh, You have the two walks uh, really the two walks go around the outside the queen walk and the bowler walk They're both designed to go around the outside of the base So you have all of these pressure points on the outside of the base that you're applying this pressure with these two different walks And you know the queen I have a level 35 queen So she's got some punch to her the bowlers have that outstanding reach They each have three healers on their back and they, and again we drop them right into the beginning of the attack and then for the core, for the kill squad going into the core, we had, I believe, eight giants, another seven in the clan castle, uh, six or seven Valkyries, and then the king and, uh, and the warden. So that gave a nice, powerful little push up the core. Now this attack right here is not exactly like the rest of them, but I wanted to include the last two attacks in this video, both the same attack. I wanted to include this attack because a lot of Town Hall 11s are, are the ones doing the trophy pushing and this is a great attack for the trophy push. This is, we call this the walking honer and it's it's the hog and the miner raid. Uh, hogs and miners both have those that unique ability to jump over the walls and, and dig under the walls so the walls are not really a factor. You start off with the queen walk and you'll start off with the queen walk with four healers on her and the four healers are, are key. Because uh, you have four healers on the queen, one rage spell will pretty much protect her through most anything, so where you don't have to use her ability. So make sure you bring two or three rage spells at Town Hall 11. And you're going to probably have to use one of those rage spells while she's on the outside of the walls, uh, just to protect her, because if she runs into any kind of uh, anti queen or, or, you know, these, a lot of bases are built with the queen walk in mind. So you have to have, make sure you have that rage spell handy and, and, and put that rage spell on her. I, I've seen a lot of people use this attack. And start off with one uh, balloon before they put in the healers on top of the queen because a lot of people are putting three or four of those black balloons in the corners because they know that a lot of people are starting off with these queen walks and the witch walks in the corners so you got to be mindful of that but anyway so you start off with the queen walk you have her clean out the outside of the walls and then if you run into any any parts of the base that are just overpowering your queen you can use the rage spell on the queen that keeps the queen alive and then you drop in those six um, the hog riders and they're mainly to just take out any kind of key areas that are overpowering the queen. 
They're not gonna last long, but they will keep the queen alive, which is which is a, a key part of this attack. If you notice, uh, we kept her alive the entire attack, just because we protected her with the raid spell and the hog riders. And then once the uh, once the queen wipes out everything on the outside of the uh, of those walls, takes out all the trash buildings, and you've kind of exposed some of the key defense in the inside, then you can start bringing in the hog. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the miners, and follow them up with the with the grand warden. And if you're able to use the, if you bring the king in with them, and you have the, the miners going in, they, they don't have any trash buildings to slow them down. They end up right next to the, the inferno towers, or right next to the eagle artillery. Then you use the king's ability, then you use the warden's ability. You put a rage spell on top of that, you use those three things. King's ability, warden ability, rage spell, and wow. There goes the core, there goes everything standing in your way. And the miners have a great, uh, they, they have a great punch underneath that rage spell. I know you, uh, if anyone who ever uses miners, you have to use heal spells with them as well. The hog riders and miners are very similar troops. Uh, if you look at their stats, if you cover up the picture and look at their stats, they're almost identical. They're, they're, they're very, very similar troops. Only difference is hog riders, they just go for defenses, so that makes them, um, much more vulnerable. That's why you'll see the hog riders won't last in these attacks like the, like the miners will. So, last attack in the video, same attack, I wanted to show this attack twice because this it might be the most relevant um, uh, trophy pushing attack. Now, if you look at the top 20 or 30 players, you, don't, you won't see a lot of miners up there right now. And you'll see a lot of bowlers and you'll see a lot of witches, you'll see a lot of, um, you'll see a lot of balloons. And I, so I do understand that the top players may not be using this strategy, and, but... Um, what I'd like to just point out to everyone, because I, I know a lot of people do this, I see there's a big mistake that everyone loves to make. They love to look at the top 10 and copy their bases and copy their troop composition. And then they go out there and wonder, why aren't I su successful like these top guys are? They got the, I have the same base as them. Uh, you know, I have similar defensive power than they have. I'm almost maxed. I got the same base. I got the same troops. And I'm not doing what they're doing. But uh, the difference is, is that they're all professionals, they're all masters of the game. And, you know, there's just a difference between these top uh, 100 players and the rest of us. I'm sorry, but I've been around them, and I, th these guys just have an incredible uh, feel for everything. So, I can't make um, a La Luna attack and 3-star with it on a, on a maxed out Town Hall 11, and these guys can do that with their eyes closed. So, I'm not going to suggest for everyone else to do that, because it takes tons and tons of practice and talent to do that. Whereas using this attack here, it's a much simpler attack. And then if you use it a bunch, then you can start getting a good feel for it. And then you'll be able to push through some of these bases even more. So, just wanted to take the last minute of the video to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel. We've had a, a, a great response here lately. I know I don't post how many subscribers we have, but it's been really amazing what's been going on. So, uh, I appreciate everyone that subscribed to Easy Street Gaming. We're kind of like the, the working class of Clash. So... Thank you all. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video. We have content coming out every day. Just been really inspired. Took this big class with YouTube, and and man, there's so much out there for 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 me to do still, and I have so much more to explore with this whole venture that I'm on. So I really appreciate it, everybody. Uh, thank you for for stopping by. I know it's a it takes time out of your day, and I just can't thank you guys enough for that. So thank you for stopping by. Also. Go, go visit our website. We have a great website. It's one of the biggest guides to Clash of Clans. It's at www.clashmadeeasy.com. Uh, I'll blow you away if you spend some time on that website. You just We took a, a, almost a year in production to build it and to get everything the way we want it. And it's still a work in progress. But visit the website. Sub to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care, everybody.